now we're recording. So I like to warm up from the ground going all the way up. What's going to happen? You're on your back. You're going to hug your knees like you love them. As tight as you can. We're just going to roll. I like to roll. Try to roll forward and backwards if it feels okay on your back. If not, put your knee down, stretch one leg out and come back. That would be our regression. But if not, I want 10 good rolls. Try to roll up without your feet touching the ground and then gently roll back. Please do not roll on your neck. We're just rolling, kind of massaging your spine, feeling nice and juicy. All right, from here, we're in a half, we're in a half kneeling position. It's just me, I don't have back end. So you'll see me in and out behind the camera. I gotta admit people, I gotta not admit people. So please, please, please be patient. So in this half kneeling position, a great starting position. Half kneeling looks like so. We're gonna do what's called an instep. My left hand goes to the ground. My right hand drops really, really, really low, as deep as I can go. I feel that big stretch in here. From here, I'm gonna open up really wide. Wiggle those fingers at the top and then drop that elbow back down. For those that get confused how we are or relate to the party, I am in a half kneeling position. I drop my hand down. I bring my elbow to the floor and I open up really wide. Now we come all the way back down and we open up really wide. Bonus points if your eyes follow your hand. So when my elbow goes, I'm looking at my elbow. As I reach up, I look at my hands trying to touch the ceiling. When you've done five, we got to switch. That's how we do it here. So my right hand gets planted on the ground. My left foot is down. I drop my elbow. Oh, I feel a good stretch on my adductor. And I open up as wide and as tall as possible. All the way down. Open up. Good. Try to keep your whole foot on the ground. That's heel and all of your five, maybe six toes. Good. When you've done five aside, we're gonna stay in this position. I like to be methodically lazy. What that means is why change to different exercises, stand up, sit down. We can hit all of our half kneeling positions at once. So our hands go overhead. We're just gonna lean to the right. And then you're gonna lean to the left. You might feel a big stretch on one side as compared to the other. Try to keep your hips in a really good position. Try not to shift them. Just try to stay nice and tall, big, big leans. I would like to get at least six of these, so three aside. Shoot for 10. Maybe you're moving quicker than I am. Maybe you're not. Big, big, big leans. Awesome. Nice job. From here, we're into what's called an adductor rock. We're moving through this warm up. Great job, athletes. I know if we're going too fast, just tell me to slow down. So, this is called an adductor rock. So, our setup is simple you have one knee on the ground, your right or your left leg gets extended out. Kind of like if you watch hockey and you're a Jonathan Quick fan or an LA Kings fan, you might see him make a save right here. That's just called a kick save, but this is our starting position. So, my toe is in line with my knee. So it's a straight line here. From here, I take my hands, I extend them forward, okay? From this position with my leg out, my hands forward, I'm gonna rock my hips back towards my white shoe, and then I come to my chest over my hands. Big rock back, chest over hands. This helps get your adductors, the inside of your legs ready for movement. Great little early, 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 I guess exercise, if you're looking to warm up or you got a pre-competition, anything, add this in. You'll feel better during, during your sport. Big stretch. You're shooting for five. When you've done five, we got to make a kick save on the other side, right? So again, like that big Jonathan Quick, go Kings, go. We're going to shift that leg out. I put that hand in. I rock all the way back and I extend forward. One, two. Want to make it harder? Some of you athletes do. You move those hands forward and you reach with that butt. I would tell you we could elevate our foot, but that requires some setup. Awesome. 
Nice job. Awesome, awesome. When you've done five or six, we're going to stand up. We're going to get into some of our rotational stuff. Um, we'll watch. I'll watch. You guys got to watch me first here. So we got to build on it each week because that's important. Last week we did triple jump to a hop to a change direction. So as a reminder, I went one, two, three, hop over, right? And then I turned and caught that, okay? So we're going to add in a vertical jump. So how that works. I got to admit people. So I want you to watch me really quickly. We're going to go one, two, three. You're going to jump over. You're going to stick that landing. I'm going to rotate over and I'm going to jump on that single leg as high as I can and stick that landing again. So that's going to be our little circuit as we bridge forward. We started with just jumps. Okay. Then we added in our hops to a jump. Then we added in our hops to a jump to a rotation, right? Now we're adding in our hops to a jump to a rotation to a big high jump and a stick. Okay. So we're just going to do three on each side. So I challenge you to get that done. Three quick explosive hops, big, big jump over, change direction, and then hop as high as you can. Watch the ceiling for all you high jumpers. If hopping, bouncing isn't for you and you're not a fan of that, I challenge you to step, step, okay? That's a better option for you if that's how it is. Step so we stay low, change my directions, open up my hip, and I'm working on a little bit of balance. So coming the other way is one, two, three, jump over. Oh, I jumped on the wrong leg. So one, two, yeah, jump over, I jump to you guys. And I jump nice and high, catch my landing, and I reset. So I owe you one more. Jump over, catch, jump, stick. Oh, nice. My heart rate's through the roof now. Too much talking. All right, we just got one more exercise. If you've been in HLC for a really long period of time, you might remember this from way back when. We do our tall and our bases. So our tall position is on my tippy toes. My hands are really close to the moon. I'm just about touching the moon. When I say, or when you say the word base in your head, you're gonna kind of imagine someone pulls the carpet out from under you and you're gonna work on kind of coming down into this position. What this is, is this is a very explosive position. You could tell me to go right and I can go right. You can tell me to go left, I can go left, right? We are all athletes. If you push me, I can step forward. If you push me backwards, I can sit back, but it's a really good base position, okay? It's really a strong position. So we wanna train it. We wanna get really good at it. So you're nice and tall. Someone pulls that rug out from under you and you're right into this base position. You're really tall, base position. I can't see what someone's chatting. So if it's really, 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 really important, you gotta come off mute, let me know. Um, but if, if you don't wanna jump into this base position, I challenge you to stay standing and then kind of squat down just a little bit. Load those quads, load those hips. But either way, tall and base. Tall and base. Tall, we're doing eight of them. Base, remember, if it's not for you, tall, base. Tall, base, right? And you can also hold on to something. Tall, base. Tall, base, right? So we just wanna work on being really explosive on our way down, no, reaching towards the moon and then bam, really explosive. When you've done eight, you deserve some water. Get yourself a sip of water. We'll get into our lift here in about 30 seconds. I looked at my hand, I'm not even wearing a watch. All right, just a reminder, no music tonight. Oh, I need a good Special Olympics playlist. That's what we need. We need a fun, fun, fun Special Olympics. We got 18 of us joining us tonight. Thank you to all the newcomers. We just completed our warm up for those that are hanging out. Rock on. I know, Andrea, I don't have music. Hey, Chris, Matt. Hi. Hi, Adam, you? how are you? Good morning, Special Olympics, Coach Matt. I didn't hear you. I was Special Olympics. I have a good game on Saturday, Coach Matt. I have a game on Saturday. A game on Saturday. Yeah, we can't wait. I can't wait to hear how good. 
you're going to do so well. I'm, I'm excited. My computer's on a little rocker. So you see me like I'm on the ocean. I'm not on the ocean. I wish I was on the ocean, but I'm not on the ocean. HSC would be fun from a surfboard, huh? I think so. All right, athletes. We're going to dive into our workout. I just need to split my screen so I know what we're doing without having to keep looking at my computer. Zoom in. Come on. Come on, Google. Do it for me. All right, friend. Here we go. Remember, if you want a t-shirt, you got to work. You got to participate. I got to see you work in. Because if you just show up and just look at the camera, I can't give you a t-shirt because I know you didn't participate in HLC. Just a little reminder. Our back end does look for that stuff. We just can't give them away to give them away. So just a reminder. All right. So we got five different exercises. We're doing alternating jumps. We're going to do a push-up with a pause. We're just going to do five push-ups, but there's a little bit of a caveat on how we're going to do it. Brett, this one's for you. I thought about it and I was like, how can we make these challenging for Brett and Charlize and some of our longtime HLCers? Um, but how can we regress it for some of our new friends? We're going to do jumping jacks. We got a hinge hold building on last week. And then we got high knees to kind of really get some good explosive power kind of coming in and out through the ground. All right. So let's just dive into it. We don't got time to dilly dally. Alternating jumps, same as last week. We're just going to add one more rep. For those that are new, we step back into this lunge position. I hit the ground and I explode in the air. I just don't want my hands on my hips. If you want to put them in front of you, behind your head, we just don't want to force a sag. So I want you to drop down and then explode in the air. And we're just going to do 12 of these as high as you can. Just 12 of them. Okay. If this is not for you, try to step back into reverse lunges. If reverse lunges aren't for you, you can just drop down and you can hold this position and then switch to the other side. Those three options work really, really, really well. It's regressing regressions to this exercise. Here we go. We got 12. One, two, three. All right, we're jumping nice and high. We're exploding through the ground. Good. When you've done 12, hang tight. I will explain the push ups. Awesome. Oh, my legs burn. That's a burner. I got to shake out my legs. All right. From here, Brett, some of our advanced athletes, how this goes is we're going to do five push ups. Your first push up, you're going to go down to a one second pause and you push back up. Your second push up, you go one, two, down. One, two, down. Okay. Your third push up, you're getting it is one, two, three all the way back up. One, two, three. So for every rep is how many reps of that pause you're doing. Athletes, if you don't want to do that, and that's not for you, that's really hard. If you don't want to do that, just give me 10 reps. If push-ups aren't for you, try to do five. If push-ups still aren't for you, try to elevate your surface. There's so many ways we could make workouts fun for all athletes who are joining us tonight. So we got five push-ups doing it level one, a pause, level two, on the ground, just five reps or 10 reps, level three, elevate your surface. I'm gonna show the ground version just so you guys can get an idea of what that looks like. Here we go. So 10 push-ups, five push-ups, whatever you wanna do, just give me some good push-ups. Ready, and we got five reps. So one second pause, I come back up, cool. Now two second, one, two, one, Two, my twos are done. Now my threes. One, two, three, all the way up. One, two, three, all the way up. One, two, three, and so forth. Now we got four seconds, four times. Four, back up. You guys got the drill. So there's a lot of pauses. There's a lot of volume. There's a lot of everything. This might take longer than some of our other push uppers, but that's okay. Make sure you're telling all the other athletes what a good job they're doing. You get your fives, you do your fives. I'll wait around. looks like we got a couple more people doing them. Yeah. Nice job, athletes. When you're done with your push-ups, we're into 40 jumping jacks. 40 jumping jacks. Here we go. In three, two, one. Catch up if you're still doing your other push-ups. We got 40 jumping jacks. Nice job. Huh. 
I'm only at 20. My heart rate's in my chin. Ooh. Nice job, athletes. Way to work, way to go, way to grind. Forty reps. Boy, we'll give everyone a chance to finish here. All right. Nice job. Noel, you are front and center on my screen. Congratulations. I didn't choose that. Zoom did. Welcome. <laughs> All right. From here, we got 40 seconds of our hinge. If you remember from last week, that was that slight knee bend. My hands reach forward. I hold on. I I want to feel those hamstrings. Last week, we did 30 seconds. We all look so good. So I upped it by 10 as opposed to one second. Athletes, we want to feel our hamstrings. So for those that are new, this is called a hinge, slight knee bend. If you notice, my knees are slightly bent. They don't bend anymore. They stay bent. From here, my hips shift back. I reach forward. I feel my hamstrings and my butt turn on and I hold it there. You count to 40 in your head. You got to keep that tension. If you lose that tension when your hips start to drop, you got to bring your hips back up. You got to feel that tension. You got to hang on. It could get a little bit nasty. It can get really difficult, but I want to spend all 40 seconds of you feeling those hamstrings. Good. When you've gone your 40 seconds, catch your breath. We got 40 high knees. So 20 per leg, 40 high knees. So let's, yeah, we worked up to it. Here we go, right? So it's one, two, three, and so forth. Or you could do one, two, three, four, whatever option works for you. 20 by one leg or 40 by both. Let's go. Here we go. Three, two, one. Just get those 40 high knees. Get your hands moving. This is a tough HLC. I told you guys last week. It was going to get hard. Wait till next round when I move a little bit quicker. Keep moving, 40 of them. When you've got 40 of them, rock on. Get some water. That's 40 for Coach Max. All right. Nice job, athletes. 40 high knees. That's tough. All right. I've set a 90 second timer. We'll hang tight. Now's our time to drink water, breathe in and out through your nose, smile, hang on. That's the important stuff, okay? That's what we want to do. So 90 seconds, your time to do whatever you want, say whatever you want, speak your mind, anything. That's what we're doing. Coach Matt. Coach Matt. Yes, sir. Please congratulate me on Zoom. Please congratulate me. What do I congratulate you on? Zoom. I have me on Zoom. Congratulations. You're on Zoom. Thank you, Coach Matt. <laughs> Good to see you, Adam. I see you on social media. I see you drinking Starbucks. I see you flexing. I see you on a track meet. Good job, dude. Good job. All right. We got another 30 seconds and we're, we're just only going to change our push-ups just a little bit. I'm going to move a little bit quicker. It's going to be one first push-up, one second pause, second push-up, two second pause, third push-up, three second pause, fourth push-up, four second pause, five, fifth push-up, five second pause. We're going to dial that volume back a little bit. That took a little bit longer than I expected and I don't want to make it too long. We're just going to run through alternate jumps, push-ups, jumping jacks, hinge hold, high knees, rest. All right, athletes, time is now. No better time to get going than right now. Here we go. We start with our, our lunge jumps, right? For those that need a reminder, I jump back, I jump nice and high. You can get those hands moving, right? Because we're athletes. Here we go in three, two, one. We got 12 of them, six aside. Two, three. Try to jump as high as you can. Okay, 12. Once you've done 12, you're into your push-ups. Two options, three options. On the floor for 10, elevate your surface for 10, or you can do first push-up, 
one second, second push up, two second, and so forth for five. So in that push up position, you guys can't see me. I got to adjust my camera. We go down for one, come back up. Second push up, two second. One, two, back up. Third push up, three seconds. One, two, three, back up. Fourth push up for four, three, and four. Just a reminder no J Lo butt. Tuck those hips. Last one for five, three, four, five. I come right up. All right. I'm into my jumping jacks. Oh, my breath is getting up there. We got 40 jumping jacks. Come on, athletes. We got so many varying levels here that we got to accommodate everybody. Make sure everybody has a great workout. So your encouragement, your patience, your love, and your support is so appreciated by Janet, Special Olympics, and myself. Nice job. Speed it up just a little bit. Nice. When you've done 40, we're into our hinge hold, right? So I'm kind of out of camera. I'll step a little bit closer. Slight knee bend. You can see it at the bottom of the camera. Hips go backwards. So you see my hamstrings turn on down here. They kind of turn off when I start to bend. So we want to have our hamstrings turn on. I want to reach forward. I want to hold that position for 40 seconds. I'm counting in my head. You should be counting in your head, unless you want to wait for me. <coughs> Excuse me. I got 10 more seconds. I am sweating. Big reach. Remember, stick your butt backward. Stick your hands forward. There should be a really big distance. You should feel those hamstrings. This is so important. I know it sounds silly. When you've done 40 seconds, we're into 40 high knees to cl could close out. Our second round, ready, set. Let's get those 40 high knees in. Arms are moving, heads kind of staying in a very similar position. I'm not bobbing up and down. I'm kind of staying parallel. Nice job. You kind of see the roof of my garage. I'm not hitting it. Nice job. When you've done 40 high knees, I've set that second timer. We got a 90 second break. You need it. Athletes, just a reminder. I touched on it with Team SOSE. Go Ryan, go, go Crystal. Anybody else, Nathan, who's a part of it, going to Orlando. We got to recover here. You're breathing heavy. This is where we're at. Hanging out in this position, breathing in and out through our nose, as opposed to here. We want to be here. All right. Get some water. Chillax. Chillax and all cool. Shooting some b-ball outside of school. All right, friends. All right, all right, all right. We got a good crowd today. Wow, 19 of us. Hanging out at, at HLC on a Tuesday. I think we call that a vibe. That's a vibe. I know, Charlie, that's a vibe. I, I just see you, right? You're, you're literally right there. <laughs> Max. Yes, sir, Adam. Got one. Good. Drink it all. Take a five second big sip. Because you need to hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. That's so important for us athletes to hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. Every time you go to the restroom, your urine should be a, more clear, but trending a little bit yellow. So like that light yellow, too clear. We don't want to be over hydrated, but we definitely don't want to be under hydrated. So uh, let that be a dictator. Don't drink when you're thirsty. Make it a habit to drink water. But all right, athletes, that's quick 90 seconds. We're on to round three. As we know, round one, introductory. Round two, I move quicker. Round three, I move faster. I speed it up because if you can keep up, awesome. If you can't keep up, don't sweat it. Here we go. We got our lunge jumps. 
or alternating split squat jumps, rear foot elevated jumps. There's so many names. Here we go in three, two, one, let's work. Big jump for height. Your head needs to hit the ceiling if you can. Remember to land soft, big explosive jumps. Nice. And you've done your 12 jumps, you're into 10 push-ups or the five. So for those that don't wanna do them on the floor, I will give you a good idea. You imagine my barbell is a couch. We could do the same 10 push-ups. One, two, three, four. If you wanna challenge yourself, do the pauses. One, back down, one, two, one, two, three, and so forth. Awesome. When you've done your 10 push-ups, you see your arms pumping. We got ourselves 40 jumping jacks. Here we go. The stronger you are, the better chance Darth Vader won't come and take you to the dark side. You'll stay with Luke Skywalker and you'll be a part of the other way, the force will be with you. You'll get Yoda, R2-D2, Chewie, better than Vader and Kylo Ren. Come on, we gotta get strong. You guys got me sweating. 40 jumping jacks done. Into that hinge hold, remember. It's a slight knee bend. Extend those arms, hold that position, feel those hamstrings, turn them on. That's gonna be good health for our ACL women out there. Hamstring strength is so important. Knee strength, quad strength, that's also important too. We gotta to protect those ACLs. Women got a two times more chance of having an ACL injury than a man. Structures, bones, tendons, muscles, we gotta train them. This is training hips, hamstrings, knee tendons, everything. Tendon to attach muscle to bone. Coach Max, are the knees yes. together or apart? So your knees are gonna be apart. They're gonna be at least hip, great question. Hip width. You can do it together if you want. You wouldn't really know by the side, but you can. But I prefer hip width, big reach. So you'll <laughs> look like this from the front, of course. And you'll look like this from the side. Not here, but here. Good question. When your 40 seconds are up, 40 high knees, that'll conclude HLC. Just get going, get your engine revving, and then just bust it out. Remember, if you're on a second story and you got people below you, give me a break. It's 6.30, they gotta be awake. And if they're not awake, wake them up. But be gentle about waking them up. And if they got problems, you tell them to talk to Coach Max. I'll deal with them. They'll be joining us in no time. Get those knees nice and high. When you've done 40 high knees, don't just sit down. We gotta walk around. We do what's called an active recovery. Two ways of active recovering. Hands on the knees till you catch your breath and you can have a conversation or just a simple walk. I don't have a big facility, so I gotta walk in a million circles. But if you got a big living room, you just take a walk. Your goal is to get your heart rate down. We'll do two stretches. We'll be out of here. Quick, as I always say, try walking backwards. Just make sure you don't hit something. Maybe you gotta walk to the side, cross those feet. I take dance classes. So maybe we're working on some of our dance moves, right? Like our quick, quick, slow, slow in the promenade and do an outside turn and so forth, right? There's so many different things we could be doing. Like I always do, right? You can do your line dances, your electric slide. Those are all forms of active recovery or just walk. I like to set a timer for a minute. Doesn't need to be too long. Doesn't need to be too crazy. Whew. Our goal is to breathe in and out through our nose as fast as possible. Not like in speed rate, like we wanna get back to breathing in and out gently through our nose. But when you do a lot of exercise and you're sucking a lot of wind through your mouth, it's hard. Sometimes you gotta close your mouth and just really try to breathe in and out through your nose. That's gonna help you guys in competition. All right, two stretches. One, Charlize's favorite. I know she knows how to do the 90-90. Good for our hips. 
So you're going to sit down. We're going to get into what's called a 90-90 position. So this is our position. I leave it up here just so you guys can see. So when you look down, your front leg is going to have a 90-degree bend. So sometimes I'll see athletes here. Okay. But we just want to pull that leg up. Sometimes I see it here. But we just want to pull it back. So I'm going to get in this position. And we're just going to try to hang on. If you want to lift up your hands, it's going to be hard. This side's easy for me. Good demonstration purposes. But the other side, you'll see, it's hard for me. You'll see me crunching. Sometimes you feel it down here. Big hold. I could sit here all day. We got to flip-flop sides now. So I'll flip-flop same thing on the other side. I cannot sit here all day. I got a lot of tightness right here into my hip. Oy vey. Hi. So I'm just going to hang out. I want to try to breathe in and out through my nose. I want to imagine my discomfort that's happening right here. It's kind of flushing away. And I still just want to spend that time. If you, if you can't even do that and you got to put your hands down, put your hands down. My God. All right. We got a hard neck stretch. So what I would like everybody to do is lie on their back if you can. This is called a pretzel. So I want you to watch me so that we can get into it. I'm going to try to find the best way to showcase this. I need a camera above. So I lay on my back. I bring one knee up. We'll use my right leg. This is my right leg. My left hand is going to cross and bring that leg over. Are you still with me? All right. From here, I'm going to take this foot that's free, this hand, and I'm going to grab it. Okay? So I see my feet are together. I need to spread them out. You see my shoulder is off the ground. You're going to feel a big stretch when you try to bring your shoulder to the ground. Don't go fast, but go slow. You feel a big stretch in your back. You feel some rotation. When you've gotten a stretch, you come right back up. We call that one. So for those that got a little lost and pretzeled, this is called a pretzel. You start here, you bring that leg over, you grab that back leg, you bring, try to bring your shoulder to the ground, keeping this knee pinned on the ground as far as you can go. And then you come all the way back up. You get all the way back down, shoot for five. When you've done five, we'll roll to the other side. So as a reminder, I stay nice and high. Left leg's up, here's my right arm. It crosses over. I pull it down to the ground. You can't see that because of my position. I grab this back leg and I bring my shoulder as far down to the ground as I can. Remember, try to split the distance between your knee and your other limb. So nice and high. I come all the way down. Bring it up, yeah, just do five of them. Should be a good stretch on your back. If you can only get so far, that's awesome. Maybe I can get further. Maybe I can. I'm sure we got some flexible folks here. Good work, good work, good work. Nice job. Awesome, awesome. Hang tight really quick. I know we got some friends here that are going to get some t-shirts tonight. I know if I'm not mistaken, I am pretty sure, Noel, you get a shirt tonight, huh? Yeah, you do. But that's what I know. If you have to attend HLC like Noel four times in a row and you can get a custom meant for HLC t-shirt, it has a mustache, it has a special Olympic logo. Got it, Noel, thanks. Um, you get it, you rock it. It means a lot more than, than just HLC. So congratulations, Noel. I can't wait to say, see who's next. Uh, we got some fun things coming, athletes. If you got a t-shirt already, don't worry. There will be more things coming. They are in the works, but I can't tell you because I know Andrea Shaw wants to know. But I, 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 I want to know, Max. I can't tell you. But thank you all for being here. I so appreciate it.